everyone, this is Elisa from Inaya's Toy Box Crochet, and I'm here to tell you what I've been up to. It's been a while. Uh, it's been a while since I last recorded because I have been busy. And uh, so I thought I'll just hop on and show you what I've been up to. This is the Into the Woods shawl. It is using the Luther Company yarn I got, I forget what month, I think it was June or July, the last box I got. And, oh yeah, I'm just pointing to you too early. Uh, and, no. And I wanted to show it to you. I finished it like the day I did my last video. Um, the stitch marker right here is where I was when I showed it to you last. So I finished the rest. I ended up having to make it into a cow, which I kind of, I don't know if I like it. But whatever. I, I mean, I like the shawl. And if the shawl was longer, if I had more yarn, it'd be great. I didn't have more yarn. The shawl is not longer. This is what I have. And uh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, you um not um Okay. Thank you, sweetheart. Hi company. Thank you. Yes, you I do have company. Uh <laughs> anyway, so um as you can see I didn't weave in the ends yet because I'm I told you last time that I think I just might be allergic to wool. And after I finished making this, I put it away and I started working on other projects and then I convinced myself I was wrong. I was probably just having seasonal allergies. Like I've never had seasonal allergies before, but I had for the first time this spring. So if I could get it during the spring, I could probably get it during the summer. It was not wool allergies. I totally convinced myself it was not wool allergies. I was allergic to the season change. Yeah. Then I picked up this yarn. Isn't it so pretty? This is the yarn I dyed. It's from Knit Picks. Uh, bear yarn and I uh, dyed it with just black. Just black. And, and it got these beautiful colors. Um, so let me tell you a little bit about this whip. This is the Dragon Belly Shawl by, I will tell you in a little bit because I am not so organized that I have show notes. I have to look it up a little bit. But I'll tell you while I'm looking it up I will tell you more about this beautiful shawl. Now, I don't know if you remember, but I dyed yarn all black once. Um, well, once? I did. I dyed it all black with my son. Mm -hmm. We were both doing it. And then... And um, I got this pretty teal color. Yeah, and we got this. This is the color we got. We have a mix of purple and green. Please don't do that. We're, the lights are going to break yeah. again if you keep doing that. <laughs> Uh, anyways, uh, I got this beautiful color and I had to use it. This is wool. It's starting to bother me a little bit because I was proven wrong. I am allergic to wool. Um, I started working on this and I started getting the same reaction again. So it's not seasonal allergies. It is wool. Um, so I decided to work on this shawl. Uh, I think it's beautiful. It is called, and I almost got it. It is called the Dragon Belly Shawl. It's by L Johanna Lindahl. It's a beautiful, beautiful shawl. If you look at the stitch work, it's so pretty. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? So I'm using two hanks at the same time, or I made it to cakes, and I get this sort of weird thing. So actually, I had actually chosen a different shawl for this uh, pa uh, for this yarn, and I had started it, and then I got this thing, and I didn't like it. But this this particular pattern calls for. Um, I don't want to touch this anymore. <laughs> I mean, I'm using it. I'm going to use up my evil, but I'm being very careful on how much I touch it. Uh, anyways, this um, this yarn I have to use two because one was noticeably lighter than the other. And so um, I'm using both hanks at the same time. And it's got uh, that yucky thing going on. And so uh, I started a different uh, pattern. And because of that, I stopped it. And I did this one because this one calls for a border. So this one's going to have a border with it. So I thought this one is a good one when you're using two skeins of yarn at the same time. There's no pooling because of that too, which is a shame. Or not. I don't know. I think it, I really like the way it's working up. Anyways, can you believe that's just black food coloring that I used to dye that yarn? Um, I wish I could dye it again. I wish I could try it again and see. Anyways, there's no point. There is no point in talking about that. Anyway, so I started that shawl. And when um, 
the wool started getting really, I started getting really, feeling really bad about it. I decided to start on something else. I started on this. This is a scarf that I made. It's my first corner to corner piece. I really, really love it. It's beautiful. Um, I used, yeah, it's not for me. I never made it. It was never meant for me. And then um, I used um, a premier yarn called Sweet Rolls, and this colorway is Cappuccino Pop. And it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I think I used two skeins in this. Um, the thing I needed and realized is that crochet scarves, which is something that I've never really done before because I always make amigurumi, crochet scarves are really, really heavy. One time you crocheted me a scarf, hey? Oh, I did crochet cows before, yes. And you crocheted me a scarf. Yes. We <coughs> called it a scarf, but it was a cow. Mm -hmm. um, I realized crochet <laughs> scarves are really, really heavy. So then I thought about it and I thought, oh my gosh, too bad I can't knit one. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, but I did t I'm pretty sure I told the story about how I started knit crocheting. And um, I learned to knit when I was nine. My mother taught me, she taught me the very basics. She taught me how to knit cast on and how to do the knit stitch or what some people call the garter stitch. I, I haven't found a difference between them. So I'm assuming they're both the same with the different names. Anyway, she taught, she taught me that when I was nine. When I was pregnant, I made a blanket and I had an absolutely horrendous experience with it. I was crying. I was falling asleep in the middle of doing it. And I, when it finished, I was devastated because I missed a bunch of stitches since I was falling asleep in the middle of it. I missed a bunch of stitches and there were holes all over this blanket that was supposed to be perfect for my baby girl. And uh, I cried and I never knit again. In fact, I gave away my knitting needles. So while I was making this scarf that is extremely heavy, took two cakes of yarn to make, I thought, Knitting makes a much lighter fabric. Too bad I can't knit, which is not exactly true. I don't have much practice, but I do know how to knit. Just the knit stitch, nothing else. Or the, the what's it called again? The garter stitch. So I thought, I thought to myself, no, I'm not going to go through that again. I mean, I remember being absolutely <laughs> devastated by knitting. And then I realized, you know, I was pregnant in a difficult pregnancy. I had lots of things going on and I was, you know, I had a month's bed rest towards the end. It was not a very, it was a happy time because I was so excited to be pregnant, but it was not a healthy time for me. And there was a lot of hormones involved. So I thought I'd try it again. So I picked up the needles I got from uh, Darn Good Yarn, which is a uh, six, size six. I'm not exactly sure what that translates to, but it's size six. I picked those up and I thought I'd try to make a scarf. And this is what I got. I got this it's scarf. So it still needs to be finished. It's only, you know, it's not even a foot tall yet. It's There's a so lot cute. left. You like it's it? It's so cute. You like it? Okay. Yeah. So I'm actually succeeding in knit stitching. I did uh, pull it apart a couple of times because I felt like this is supposed to be a practice piece. Okay. It really is. It's supposed to be a practice piece. I told my husband when I started, it doesn't matter how it turns out. The point is that I'm making it. Um, yeah, that, you know, I can't abide by that. Like, if I don't like the stitches, I pull it apart in crochet. And, but I thought in, knits, in knitting, I won't do that because, you know, I don't know how to knit and I'm learning and it's okay to be forgiving. No, I pulled it apart like this yes, much I, of it, yes, like I twice. Yes, the first I time was this much. Sometimes it was this much. I pulled it apart because I was not satisfied with my stitches. So now I'm pretty satisfied with my stitches. I think I've got a groove on. Not that I'm working on it at the moment. I'm not. Um, but I thought I'd show you what I have. I'll put a progress keeper. And if I get to show it to you next week, if I make a video, I will show you how far I've gotten. But I'm not really working on it that much. I might get it a row done. No, I don't even do that. I'm not working on it that much because I have other things that are more important to do. Um, I also made, during that same time, I was working on a lot of stuff and I finished a lot of stuff. I also made this basket. 
Isn't it so pretty? This is the hack. This is a hack stitch basket. I was watching uh, Yarn Hack Ryan, and she was uh, she made a basket, and I just loved it. It was so beautiful. So I thought I'd make it myself. So I got uh, the yarn that was gifted. I got in the yarn swap from Fran, and I made it was Lily something. Lily, it's a cotton yarn, and I started making this, and I used too small a hook. I treated this like amigurumi and it's really hard to do this <laughs> it's really hard to do the hack stitch with a small hook so I did it I meant for it to be a little bigger uh, but I it was really difficult to do so I just stopped uh, when I got to this height because I figured it could hold stuff it could be a shallow basket and inside I have uh, darn good yarn cotton yarn those are whole skeins uh, whole balls by the way I also made another scrap basket. Um, scrap baskets don't take too long to bake. They're quick and you use up your scraps. And I think I was doing that in between making the hack stitch basket uh, when my fingers needed a little rest from the really tight stitching I was doing on the hack stitch, bar hack stitch basket. And I was doing such tight stitches because I chose too small a hook. So. Let me just lift this up a little bit so you can see more of everything. So that's what I did then. Um, then I needed to make a piece. I don't know if I showed this to you last time. I do try to show everything I'm working on, but I, I don't know if I showed it to you. This was uh, my... <laughs> hey, cutie. Are you taking it and showing it to them? Uh, this is my um, submission to In The Round Magazine for October. Right. It's a little monster, a little one-eyed monster. Um, so when cute. my baby, that means you, yeah. was one year old, mm -hmm. I made him a monster cake with an, a single eye and I made him monster toys. And I thought I'd make a bigger version of the monster toys. Now, I, when I make up patterns, even though at the time when I made up that pattern, I was not selling patterns, I write down everything. Right. At the time, right now, I type up everything as I'm doing it. Uh, my iPad is my best friend as far as patterns go because I type it up as I'm doing it. With this one, I had written it out as I was doing it. Right. And, right. okay, be careful. Don't trip on the wires. Uh, I, I had written lower. <laughs> I had written it out as I was doing it, and I have lost the pattern. So this is not the exact same. It's also made much bigger than that one was. Uh, I can't find it, but it is inspired by that. So it's a pattern inspired on a pattern that I made up years ago. <laughs> so this is my submission. It's my little monster. And I also have a monster you slash have a dinosaur. You have a monster slash dinosaur. Cool. Uh, and, and then I, I took up a test. I started testing this doll. This is Gabrielle. She's a tourist doll, and I was supposed to test her. Um, she is really big. Oh, I didn't tell you the yarns I used. Um, the one I'm knitting right there, this one, is uh, Loops and Threads. Uh, impeccable Loops and Threads in the color Almond. That one, I think I told you, uh, Premier Sweet Roll Cappuccino Pop. The, very, the, the basket is always, always, always scrap yarn with... This one had black running through it. I choose a neutral and I hold it with two other balls of yarns that are scrap. So that's always scrap. This is, um, I don't know how to pronounce it. Skitamar, I just call it Catania. This is Catania yarn right here. And the shoes are something I got at Hobium a while ago. I don't remember what it's called. This is paint box and this is paint box. This is warm caramel and I think this is raspberry. Anyways, I started making her. I was testing her. I should have finished her. But when I agreed to this test, I was not thinking. Because the downstairs attic, which is the, um, the gallery that I um, send my animals to, is having is has joined an event with other it's called the vintage hop uh, hop and chop oh i hope i got that wrong right i am gonna look it up just to make sure i got that right anyways she's having that event it's gonna be in october and i should have thought of course i want to give new stuff for it i mean it's an event 
hopefully it's going to draw in people to come and see it. And I didn't even think when I agreed to test this. I, I don't know. I wasn't even thinking about it. I just said, yeah, I'll test it. And, um, and then I realized I need to make some stuff to send to her. And so it's called the Vintage Shop Hop. Okay, the Vintage Shop Hop. It's in the Wisconsin area. Um, you could go to my Facebook to see a flyer, but I'm going to just see if you could see it on my iPad right there. It's called From Lake to Bay, October 2 to 3, 2020, Vintage Shop Hop. Um, there's going to be a whole bunch of stores involved and a whole bunch of everything. And obviously, I need to give new stuff. Um, and yes, I was also asked to give new stuff. But I also thought to myself, what am I doing? What am I doing? I need to make stuff. So I apologized to Amon. This is a pattern by... This is a pattern by Pieces of Amon. Um, it's a big doll. I'll show you when it's finished. I'll show it to you better. Um, it's a pattern by Pieces of Amon. And I had to call her up. I had to text her and say, I'm so sorry. I have to make other stuff. And I'm glad I did because today, Pat, the owner of Dance Just Attic, called and said, do you have anything that you could send me? And I was able to say, yes, I do. I have something that I can send you. I can send you this little froggy. His name is Fritz the Frog. I bought the pattern. The pattern is by, you know, I really should make show notes. I really should. If I make show notes, then I don't have to stop and look up stuff to tell you about it. But luckily, luckily, if ever you want to see any of the details of anything I make, you just need to go to my Ravelry project page because I, as soon as I, even before I start a project, I'm making a project, uh, profit project page. So I have the yarn picked out. I have everything ready. I'm about to start. I stop and make myself a project page. So this is Fritz the For Frog by Yuki Yarn Designs. Isn't he so adorable? I used, this is all made out of paint box yarns. This one, uh, the colorway, the colorway is green and right here, the chest is, uh, Vanilla cream. Okay, the white is not paint box. The white is can, so it'll be soft. But there's so little there. Do I really need to tell you about it? I don't know. I told you anyways. It's can, so it'll be soft. White. So I made him. I have been very busy. I've been busy with other stuff too, so this has been a little difficult to do because kids start school soon, and once they start school, I have to get the place ready for that. Okay, so then I made this. This is Jazzy, the circus seal. Yes, isn't he adorable? He's so cute. He's balancing um, a ball just like you know. Yeah, he's balancing a ball on his head. A rainbow ball. So this is a pattern by Neo Gurumi. It's called a rainbow ball. It's, he's balancing a rainbow ball on his head. Yes, I have two children in the house saying, Mommy, can't you just save that one for me? Two of them. I'm like, sorry. Can't have it. Um. Yeah, so that's... Jazzy the Circus Seal, I used a bunch of different yarns. This is the Hirschner, the big uh, eight pound, I believe I got, no, 12 pounds of gray yarn. I'm finished. I have finished all that gray yarn I bought. So this one is, uh, the gray is the Hirschner's um, 12 pound, uh, or Hirschner's 12, I think it was called. Um, the blue is uh, Big Twist Value Solids in Sapphire. The yellow is paint box in buttercup, buttercup yellow. And all these colors, some of them, Caron, Red Heart Soft. Uh, these two are paint box. This is big value, big twist value, and the bottom is paint box. So it's a whole mix of different types of yarns. But you know what? When you're doing a lot of stuff, you need a whole lot of stuff. And then finally, the last thing, oh no, this isn't the last thing I have to show you, but this is the last thing I made. This is very, 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 very hot off the hook. Um, this is Sandy the Cat. The pattern is by Stuff That Body. And I used paint box, vanilla cream. It's the same color as the frog. And I used some Hobby Lobby, I love this yarn in brown, to uh, do some accents on it. I really love 
I love that stuff the body um, stuff the body patterns they're so beautiful I'm thinking about buying another one uh, I really am they're just the shaping of it is so absolutely gorgeous um, I don't know I'll see what happens but I am thinking of buying another pattern and so the last thing I have to show you which is actually the first thing I actually finished well no the shawl is the first thing I finished but it's the one I was working on before all of this and that is Glinda the Witch um, you probably saw her in the video I did where I showed I made a video of how I do the eyes um, this is made with the mermaid purse yarns, at least the dresses. The body is paint box, simple, uh, DK, cotton DK in uh, worm caramel. And everything else, all the rest, uh, head down. And I guess the, the scarf and the, the hat too. The, the is, witch is, was not this. Um, la last time I did the video. Yeah. That's right. So this is um, done in the did, mermaid purse yarn that I got. Yeah, what did you say? And it didn't have the hat. No, it didn't and have the hat. it still had pins over her hair. Yeah, it had pins on her hair. So I thought I'd just show you this. She is done, all ready to go. I don't know where, but she's done. So this is what I've been working on the past couple of weeks. Uh, the next weeks, I am going to still be busy. Uh, I probably am not going to be knitting or working on the shawl all that often. I, I have a bunch of stuff I still need to make. Uh, I have some commitments as far as crochet goes, but this is what I have. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you like this video, please give the video a like. Uh, like if you want to hear, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. What he said. What he said. I know Anyways, about see you YouTube. next time. I know everything about YouTube. You know everything about YouTube. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Uh, see you next time. Bye. Bye.